Austin police are looking into a series of overdose deaths they believe may be connected to the drug fentanyl, a synthetic opioid 100 times more powerful than morphine. It can be combined with heroin or prescribed by a doctor in the form of a patch. And tonight, KXAN's Amanda Brandeis speaks with one man trying to stop overdoses in Austin to learn what he's seeing on the ground. All you do is push the middle and it gives you all the medication. Here in the sober living home Mark Kinsley manages, there's always naloxone on hand, a drug that has saved thousands of people overdosing from opioids. I'm someone who's been rescued twice by this medication that allowed me to get to a place where I got a message of hope, where I'm able to raise my child again. Dead people don't get the opportunity to do that. Mark knows each time you use opioids like heroin, it's a gamble for your life. What you get on a Wednesday from one guy, you go back to that same guy on a Friday, maybe a completely different purity and kill him. He says fentanyl is stronger and cheaper than heroin. As far as getting a desirable effect, that's definitely the number one thing to mix in with heroin. Nick is a recovering heroin addict in the sober living home. This problem is widespread across the northeast of the United States. You know, it's only a matter of time before this kind of thing becomes more of an epidemic here. Happening here in places you may not expect. If I was to take you to where the majority of opioid overdoses are happening in our country, it would be places like, and this is no dig on these communities, places like Westlake, places like Georgetown. Places. Mark says naloxone is just one step of the equation for getting deadly overdose numbers down. That plus a lot more resources, education, and messages of hope. Amanda Brandeis, KXAN News. Kinsley says when drugs like naloxone are more readily available, research shows it leads to less risky behavior and helps connect people to services at a higher rate. We wanted to know a little more about these overdoses and how they're spiking locally. We spoke today with doctors at Seton who explained why it's showing up in illegal drugs such as heroin. And it's cheaper to produce um, and it keeps costs low for drug cartels that bring in illicit drugs to the United States. Um, however, over the past year, um, the CDC um, and other um, national groups have kind of been tracking and they are worried that we're seeing more constant fentanyl in those drug supplies. Check out KXAN.com where we have extra facts on the drug, including how to recognize symptoms of fentanyl abuse.